I'm Dutch Guitar Dude. Welcome again to my guitar channel. Today we're going to look at the New X Loop Core. Uh, it's a loop pedal, as you heard in the intro. It has uh, rhythm tracks in it, uh, 99 presets uh, in which you can save your WAV files so you can connect it to, co uh, to your computer and uh, download WAV files to the pedal. It has an aux in uh, so you can hook up an MP three players so you can play over a backing track and record that. Uh, I will demonstrate the uh, basic functions of the pedal. I will explain the controls to you now. Uh, as you can see basic pedal, this is the on off switch uh, and double clicking is stopping the recording or the uh, uh, playing. Input uh, left output and right output. If you run it on batteries, whenever you connect this output, uh, the pedal uh, will turn on, and if you disconnect it, the uh, power will be off, so the batteries will be saved. Control in, so you can use uh, an external tap pedal to control it from the floor. That's what I should have done because it, it's not on good on timing now, because I have to coordinate with uh, guitar in the hand here. These two knobs is the control for the rhythm level and the control of the loop level. This is for the uh, 99 presets you can uh, get to. This is tap tempo, so if you want to use a rhythm track, let's try that. So you can set your rhythm track uh, tempo. This is the rhythm knob, as you just saw. If you hold it down, you can choose the types. I will show you that in a minute. Save button to save all your recordings or delete. As you just saw in the intro, I laid down a rhythm track with a bass. I used my uh, Octavo on my uh, Boss MS3 for the bass sound. And then on top uh, some chords, organ chords with the chorus. And then I soloed over the part. Um. So this is what I have recorded. Uh, the recording process is very simple. You can go only loops or you can do loops with the rhythm part. I'm going to clear. So I have cleared preset 1, I was recording on preset 1. So first going to loop a recording without the rhythm part. Let me find a nice sound. tricky because normal this is on the floor so you can operate it with your foot I have to do it with my hand but we'll try
see when it's on the orange LED, then it's a rig overdubbing. Let's add a, add a bass part. Now you can uh, use it as a backing track. idea that's how you build backing tracks with a loop coil. You can save these tracks, you do that with press the save button, choose a location on 6, press save again and now it's safe on number 6. If I go to another one and play it, it's empty, go to 4, I recorded that before See, that's another track. Go to 6, play. You can see there's a little dot next to the number, that means there's a recording there. So that's the recording I just did. Now let me show you. We're going to preset number 1, make sure it's clear. I'm going to show you how you can uh, use the rhythm parts. You press rhythm, long press it to select the different rhythms, and it has 20 built in rhythms metronome, hi hat is this, rock, rock 2, a shuffle, blues rock. Swing, country, country number two, hip hop, hip hop number two, pop, pop number two, fast rock, metal, Latin. Latin 2, all times rock, whatever that means, reggae, and dance. Okay, let's take a uh, this is blues rock. Stop the recording, you see the rhythm is uh, the rhythm is uh, turning red. Whenever I press this the rhythm starts and we can and we can record. So we start with the bass part. Let's 
some uh, organ parts. So now we have a backing track. with a rhythm track added. Also we can save this one. Let's save it in position number 7. Hold save and then it's saved in that position. If you want to delete a preset, that was the first one we, uh, we did. You notice this is playing, double clicking is uh, playing uh, stopping the part. If you want to delete this, long press this button where it says save delete and now it's deleted you can see the dot disappears next to the number and there's a different stop modes so the stop modes are stop, that's this, instantly stops, fn, which means stop, at, so it plays a loop and at the end of the loop it stops, and this fade, fa, fade out, so the loop will start to fade, and that's all after you double press this uh, button, so let us try. So that's the fade, stop instantly, it will stop instantly and uh, fade to the end of the, no, uh, stop at the end of the loop. So then the loop will be played and then it stops. It also has auto recording. Let's go to uh, another free preset. Long press the stop modes. So you long press it and you click it again. It says AR. So it's in the automatic recording mode now. So as soon as I'll play, the recording will start. So let's press this. It's waiting to record now, as soon as I play it will start. And from there the whole recording process as I have shown you before will work. Uh, I think that's about it for this pedal. 
Uh, I've mentioned that it has an aux in for an MP3, uh, MP3 player, so you can play along backing tracks. It also has a USB, so you can connect to, to your computer and download WAV files into it. So the loop core has 4 gigabytes, it's worth of 6 hours of recording, so you can put a lot of uh, files on it and you can record a lot. So this was the demo for the loop core from Nuex, go check it out. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.